Well, but where the hell did the coconut go? Mother of Jesus. Okay, one more time. Coconut, do not disappear into the nether realm. Totally disappeared into the nether realm. Hello, everybody. Grace Boys. We were taking out a game for the channel called Escape the Pacific. So the developer got with me and sent me a code so I could check this out. Very stranded, DP. We are stuck out in the ocean somewhere, and we have to basically sail around, get resources, survive, and not be killed by pretty much everything that's not us in the game. This game has a couple of things that is different and unique, uh, I would say. It has... This entire cartography style of stuff to it with a sextant and all kinds of triangulation. And it has different levels of moisture that you have to deal with. And it has wind that you have to deal with. So you can't just like put a fire outside when it's super windy. You can't use wood for firewood if it's wet. Uh, there's a lot of kind of like very deep stuff. The other thing that's super deep about this is the inventory system. It's actually so realistic, it's annoying. Because how it is, is you can't carry anything without something to put things in. So long gone are the days of hauling around like 18 trees in your backpack. You have to legitimately craft a backpack in order to store anything. And then on top of that, there's a volume amount and there's a weight amount. And if you carry anything while you're swimming, you pretty much sink right to the bottom of the freaking ocean. Like anything. Like I'm talking like a rock and you're going to die. There's skills in the games too. You like level up and stuff. Very kind of, kind of interesting. Like the more you do things, the better you get at it. So we can generate a random island chunklet here. We can move around and see it as, actually this one's kind of neat. It's got like a little area over here that we have. See what else we can get if we just kind of generate around. That doesn't have enough ground cover. Ooh, holy crap. That's pretty, pretty vegetatively populated. Look at this. I just can't. <laughs> Imagine generating this and turning on the gate for the first time. There's your difficulty level. You have like one tiny sand shoal. Have fun swimming to the next freaking cluster, scumbag. All right, we're going to use this one because it looks freaking sweet. It's like three... Well, it's like a peninsula. Well, it's not a peninsula, it's an island. But it's like three islands that have all joined together to form like a continent with like a little inlet over here. I kind of like that. I think we'll go ahead and utilize this. Over here, we have different difficulty settings. I really have no idea what the hell they do. We're just going to pick experienced because why not? We can only do the sandbox right now. This is our seed that we have generated. You can also do a totally random seed where it just generates whatever it wants for you. Of course, you could just get like, you know, the middle of the ocean with nothing around you like we had. So that could be sadness. Over here, we have David. There is no Gabriel. So, uh, yeah, we're just David. Fantastic facial hair. You can choose from a couple of different settings. You can be lazy where all of your stuff is super low. Athletic, where you're running and swimming is decent. Or you can be, like, strong, which I, I really, I, I honestly don't know what the hell this does. Let's just be a normal guy. You can mess with your latitude. You can mess with the seasons. It's actually pretty crazy. Look at how things kind of, like, manipulate themselves around as we kind of move back and forth. Uh, yeah, early winter drive, that, that sounds pretty fun. You can mess with the temperature if you want to, the wind amount, the amount of rain. Um, let's just keep everything normal for right now, I guess. Time flows at 30, I don't know. I'm assuming that's 30 minutes equals a day or something like that. Let us start and see if we can survive on the triple island of greatness. As usual, you start in the water like a sad piece of discarded trash. Gonna have to climb our way out. Now, I had to play this a little bit off camera to get used to the crafting system. Because if you're not used to the crafting system, the second you get into it, you're gonna wanna fold a frisbee in half and try and shove it down your friggin' throat. So how it works is, if we go over here to the quick crafting menu, now there's a lot of stuff, sort of, that you can craft. This is very early access, by the way. Like, it's considered alpha. It almost feels like pre-alpha. Over to the main crafting area. You can see we got some tools, you got some equipment. There's all the bags that you have to put on you in order to carry stuff. Like, this is probably the things that we're gonna wanna make right away. Because carrying things in just your hands is a pain in the ass. We also have some boat stuff that we can make over here to make a giant raft so that we can go to all the different islands. You can see some different islands in the distance. There's one. You can see different islands in the distance. So the idea is, is that you get a cluster where there are islands near you, and then the next cluster is usually freakishly far away, like to the point where you may be out at sea for several days. So you have to prepare yourself by making different little boxes and stuff with food and drink and all there have you. Over by the building, we got pillars, we got floors, we got wood, we got walls and there have you. Nothing too amazing, basically your, your typical palm stuff. Here's all those skills I was talking about, this chop is a skill. 
Craft, build, repair, dismantle, hunt, farm. Oh, there's farming. Well, or there will be farming. That'd be fantastic. Starving. <laughs> That's a skill. Holy Jesus. Can I click on this? Endurance when starving. Health will be dropped slower by achieve percent. Okay, so you're just really good at not having any food. That's fantastic. I imagine once there's a story mode, this will be filled out. We don't really have anything for right now. First things first. We need to make some basic stuff. To make basic stuff, it's... <sighs> It's not like in other games where you can just, like, have a trio of things in your backpack and then suddenly something is made. You have to prepare an area for it. So, if we go over to tools and, like, we want a hammer, alright, we can go ahead and click on it. Holy crap. Hi there, tip menu or whatever. And it falls to the ground. And now it shows us we're gonna need these items to put this freaking hammer together. So, small sticks, some rocks, blah, blah. Alright, let's go ahead and grab ourselves some stick -doos. Oh, and the reason I'm making this over by this little middle like, kind of lagoon area by this rock is because there's nothing that marks where this is for you. So, you'll you'll put this down and then you'll go wander around your friggin' island and then you'll forget where you originally had been making your hammer at unless you can remember the area. And then you'll lose all the materials that you spent trying to make your hammer or whatever. I think that we have a piece of... Nope, totally wrong. Oh! We got bananas! That's actually fantastic. That's a pretty decent food source. There's just like crabs and coconuts and stuff like that, but bananas you could just reach up, grab, and eat, which is pretty nice. If we go over to the tab area, you can see that the hunger and thirst goes down slowly over time. This is the temperature. I'm assuming this is Celsius. So it's uh, decently hot outside considering it's the middle of winter, but I guess we're also in the Pacific, so it makes sense. Let's start picking things up as we do. All right, chunk little wood, put it on there. So now we need more stones. Now, what's really crazy is if you look at this, it says sto uh, hammer stone shard. You're going to run around here looking for what the hell a hammer stone shard is. Let me let me show you this. So first, you need a craptastic rock right here. And this is like your very first building block, essentially. This will allow you to make almost everything else. So now we have to beat this carving rock until a different rock gives birth right over here. It just gave birth to the small carving rock. And now we have to beat the crap out of this, and then we get our hammer stone shard. And then if you beat it more, you get the axe, which is like a little bit smaller, but it's sharper. And then if you beat it even more, you get the knife. Pick it up. Put it on the hammer. Now all you need is small carving rock or small rock times two. All right, make this thing give birth to another rock. Also, I'll, I'll tell you guys more in a second. But let's grab this small carving rock, try and throw it on here. Uh, there we go. That was odd. I literally, like, beat it into a hammer. I thought I would, like, maybe put the hammer on it, or put the rock on it, but I guess not. Whatever. So now we have ourselves a glorious primitive hammer. Over here to the area. What I've noticed is that if you switch things from your pockets to your hand, you have a tendency to lose one of these items. Like, it just vap- it just vaporizes into the friggin' ether. So don't do it. Just drop stuff on the ground and pick it back up, otherwise you're gonna be sad. Hammer done, let's get the rest of the friggin' tool. Alright, primitive axe, we need another stick. There's a giant ass rock, but we don't need that. There we go. Oh, that's, uh, no, that's the perfect stick. Oh, Jesus. Did I just friggin', hold on, let me drop this real quick. Okay, good, it just moved over to my, uh, to my, I don't know what to call that. I guess I'm just, like, holding things in the cradle of my arm or something. But like I said, sometimes things disappear, and when they do, it'll make you sad. Alright, stick goes on the axe, and now we need a stone, uh, axe stone shard. When it says primitive hammer, Zero of two, you don't like add primitive hammers to this. You just beat it with your primitive hammer twice, and that fulfills the criteria. Give birth to more carving rocks. Good. Let's go ahead and beat this to death. Hammer stone shard. Axe stone shard. Fantastic. I'm gonna drop this on the ground because I feel like it. Pick this up over here. Put it on the axe. Then we can pick our primitive hammer back up. Beat it twice. And there we go. We're good to go. Now we have a primitive axe. All right, we gotta go all the way. Gotta make the primitive knife. We might as well, after all. All life begins with a small stick. Notice, by the way, how it said dry. That's what I'm talking about, how things can get wet, especially if it starts to, uh, like, rain and stuff like that. That can be a real pisser, because then you're gonna have a problem keeping your fire going if everything ends up getting wet. So it, it's almost like it's better to put your fire under some sort of cover, like to build a structure first. We'll probably do that, but first I want to get all of our tools created. Holy crap. Oh, the hammer is so much better for getting all these glorious rocks than just using the crappy rock. There we go. Tons of carving stuff. Fantastic. Now all we have to do is just pick one of these, hammer it to death until it turns into a knife shard, and we should be able to make our knife straight away. Beat down the axe, 
And then on the last hit, it becomes a knife stone shard. Beat this twice with the primitive hammer, and then boom! Now we have a knife! So now we have all the tools, and you're gonna notice we're completely out of space. Like, we have our pockets over here, so I guess, I don't know, I guess we're shoving the handles in our freaking business suit pockets, which is usually what you have, isn't it? You, we actually have feet here, which is kind of nice. It's kind of... If you remember in Old Stranded Deep, you were just like a disembodied shadow for a while, but we legitimately have a body with like an arm and hand and stuff like that, so that's pretty decent. Let's start messing around with making all the things so that we can carry stuff a lot easier, and then we can put together a place to like spend the night. Alright, small backpack. Sticks. Frawn. And then we gotta use our primitive knife. Okay. So we need a stick. I'm probably gonna have to leave some of this behind because I don't have any more space in my hands. So, uh, I guess I'll just drop this for right now. And we'll keep our knife and our axe on us. Because we may need to use the axe to chop down. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's just take down a friggin' tree. We might as well. Alright. How legit is the tree falling? Let's find out. Kind of, It's kind of weird how it gives you like a specific number. Like, as you fell the tree. Alright, the tree fell kind of good. So now I assume... What you have to do is take part of your tree log chunklet over here and beat the hell out of this until a smaller piece falls off and then continue beating it until it's less and less stuff. Huh. Tree trunk soaked, is it? How the hell did it get wet? Is it just because like it has... Well, I mean, I, I guess maybe it absorbs some water and that's how it's staying alive and now we have to deal with the fact that it has liquid in it? Whatever. So we got thick branches, but that's not what we want. Let's continue to hack this thing further and further down. Oh, and by the way, this is what I was saying how like sometimes things get really in depth with crafting. That's what's happening here. So you start with a tree, then you get a big stick or a, th a thick branch, then you get a big stick, then you get a small stick, then I think you get firewood. It goes down and down and down. Alright, so now we need palm fronds. Uh, let's go ahead and equip this. You can drag it over, like I had said, but I don't know, man. I've dragged stuff over and it had it had disappeared on me, so I'm a little bit afraid now. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and beat the top portion over here, because I think that's how we get at the fronds. Yes! Pop- oh, where the hell did they go? It was like here for one second. It said like pop- oh, there it is. Palm fronds. Now, I, I guess you beat it with the axe? You would think that maybe you would do it with the knife, but whatever. There we go! All the- what happened to the coconut? There was a coconut in there, wasn't it? It just like- it just like disappeared. Is it underneath the- it better be underneath the friggin' palm fronds. Alright, whatever. Let's grab one of these palm fronds, bring it over here, and complete our backpack to make life a whole lot easier. Put the palm frond in. Go ahead and throw our knife into our hand. Knife the living hell out of this thing, kind of like we're, uh, you know, carving out a backpack. Is that how backpacking works? I really don't know, but in the game, that's how you do. So there we go. Let's go ahead and, I think it said P to wear it, so yeah, let's do that. And now, check this out. Now we have a larger volume. We have a 10 weight, we have a bunch of area that we can shove things in, and it's just gonna make our life a lot easier. Now you move a lot slower with the backpack on. Well, a lot slower. You begin to move and manipulate the area slower the more stuff you have on you so like going in the water right now when we have all these tools and stuff would be a really freaking bad idea let me grab this all right next side bag let's do a tool belt because i do believe that that is how you don't show this please i do believe that this is how you can do like a a, a hot bar like right now we we can't press one two or three or anything and have all of our tools move up we need something for the hot bar, so I'm pretty sure this is how you do it. Oh, all we need is one palm frond? This should actually be totally easy, because we have a whole freaking mess of palm fronds just laying in a little doodle over here. There we go. One of these, bring it back over, weave ourselves a belt together. It's really good that all of these various, like, businessmen, or I don't know what the hell we are. Someone said in Stranded Deep we are basically Bruce Wayne. But all these businessmen, or whatever they are, always have fantastic survival skills. There. Okay. So let's go ahead and wear this now, and now we have at least three items that we can put here. So we'll put a knife in there, put an axe in there, put a hammer in there, and now we can switch through them. Which is friggin' sweet. Side bag. Sure. Oh, all you need is palm fronds for all this stuff. This is gonna be... So we're gonna get outfitted pretty quick, actually. I have... What in the hell? Can craft... Okay. That was weird. I've never seen it tell me that I could make something sort of like that before, but I'm not going to worry about it. Let's go ahead and throw that on there, grab our knife. Now I don't even have to go back over into the inventory screen to bring, to bring it up and, you know, risk losing it, which is kind of nice. Now I don't know what this does. I don't know if we can wear this on top of wearing our, uh, our backpack. I assume we can. Uh, yeah, there we go. So this carries a little bit of weight as well. Fantastic. So now we have all kinds of places to put things. Stable foundation. Robust foundation, weak foundation. 
Uh, I guess, do they, is, do they bear different amounts of loads, I would assume? So this, we need a wooden trunk and a primitive hammer. Sure. Oh! Oh, we can drag it. So it is like stranded deep. We are Bruce Wayne. Look at the power! The entire trunk comes with us like it's no friggin' big deal. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So now do I do I click on this or how does this how do I now that I have this trunklet? I don't think I can just put it in my backpack. Oh my god, maybe I can. Yep, sure can. Alright, whatever. Throw the trunk down, grab our hammer. I think this is our hammer. Yep, sure is. And boom shakalaka. We have a friggin' stable, like a I don't know, the best possible pillar formation you can have. Let's put a floor on it. So let's do the robust side beam. If I'm allowed to do so. Am I allowed to do so? Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, I have to go back. There we go. I was gonna say, at first I thought it didn't like it. So all this needs is a thick branch. Which I think we have just laying around over here. Is the day going by pretty quick? I feel like the sun's starting to go down. Now, there's no timekeeping in this game. You've got to just use where the sun is in the position to kind of understand what time it is at, at any given moment. Let's go ahead and uh, grab yonder branch over here, bring it on over, throw it down, and I think we just need our beady hammer for this. I'm pretty sure, yeah. So let's go ahead and smash it on down, filling everything in, boom, right over there. Thick branch, long stick, holy crap, that's a lot of sticks. Alright, one thick branch, seven long sticks, got it, let's freaking get them. Starting to get pretty thirsty. At what the hell sort of freaking monstrosity am I wielding? What in the hell is this? Uh... I'm wielding like the, <laughs> the axe and the freaking stick at the same time. Whatever. Let's go ahead. Whoa, mother of God. All right, let's go ahead and open up this coconut. Because I think this is how we drink at the moment. Uh, there we go. All right, yes. You to drink. How much drinking does this give us, I wonder? Oh, it got our thirst up a little bit. Not a ton. It got it up a little bit. Now, what is what is this? It's like a... Can we fill this up or something? We have like a cut coconut or something like that. Oh, I made a coconut pot. And I've got coconut flesh. What does my coconut pot do? I, the stick is permanently ingrained in our body now. So, I guess that's a thing. So can I, if I put my pot in the water, will it like fill up or anything? Or how does... No damn clue. Have no idea yet. We're gonna need a bunch more trees though. Because we need to get this thing fixed up. How much stuff do I need? Thick branch and a lot more sticks. Got it. Let's, uh, let's take down this big ass tree over here. This one's looking strong and potent. Oh, this one's called a very tall palm. So this is substantially different than your average palm trees. This one's been eating McDonald's since the day it was born. Let's go ahead and take it on down. There we go. You don't want to stand directly underneath the tree. That would make you real sad. It's nighttime. I'm dual wielding sticks in one hand like a freaking boss. I'm tired. Uh, I think that's what happened. Like, you get tired, I guess, as the time goes on. And now I could very slowly trudge my ass along. Uh, my axe got glitched, so I have to make another one. And pretty much without the axe, you can't do anything. So, we're gonna try and put together another axe real quick so I can make a bed. And then I'll see if I can sleep after I have my bed made. So I should be able to put my stick on here. There we go. Okay, my primitive hammer twice. Got it. Okay. Okay. I think we have a bed ready. Uh, I'm pretty freaking thirsty. So I'm gonna drop this coconut and then I'm gonna equip what I think <laughs> now I'm holding the friggin now I'm holding the friggin uh the palm fraud in my hand oh whatever well but where the hell did the coconut go mother of Jesus uh okay well sure let's tr let's try this oh Jesus oh no okay I think I may have lost a palm front, but it's it's not a big deal. All right, uh, okay, one more time. Coconut, do not disappear into the nether realm. Totally disappeared into the nether realm. No clue where the hell it went to. No idea. I'm just gonna sleep in this bed. All right, we went to sleep for the night. We're now triple wielding stuff. I'm wielding a palm frond, a stick, my axe, and I think my knife at the same time. I think I'm- I think I'm wielding damn near everything. I have no idea how to get rid of all this crap. Maybe if I drop it all. Alright. Totally didn't work. Still triple wielding everything. It's fine. I'll just- 
I'll find a way to edit around it. Let's continue to try and make our little area over here. Long stick, thick branch. Got it. I've got a chunk of rot, a uh, chunk of palm trunk over here. We go ahead and triple wield everything and get this thing cut up. What kind of juggernaut is able to triple wield crap? All right, it's the guy that's surviving out in the Pacific. All right, that's freaking who. What else do we need over here? Thick branch. Got it. Pick up one of these. I wonder if this will. Oh, there we go. Now we got another thick branch going out over here. Whatever. Whatever. Long stick. All right. So if we want to get walls up, we have to put pillars on here. So I got this little pillar over here. All we need is long sticks, and then we can use our hammer. So let's go ahead and pick up this long stick so that we're holding like 75,000 things now. I think all we have to do is just beat this twice with the hammer. All right. That's the first one. Make the second one, and then we can put a wall through there. Ooh. I got the coconut working with my giant... Like, mallet of everythingness. If I beat this stuff, I get coconut husks. I think that's what we need to use in order to uh, make a fire. So if you break this down, I think you get tinder, essentially. Yeah, you get coconut fiber. And then if we beat this down, we should get some coconut meat. Notice we're freaking holding a coconut now in our hand. How's our thirst and hunger doing? We're super tired again. I don't know how we get so tired so damn fast. I think what's awesome is this bionic monstrosity that we've made can be seen in our in our uh, our shadow over there so it's not just like it's not just like glitching normally like it's legitimately part of us right now that's amazing let's uh, let's put a wall up I'm not gonna lie our dude is pretty tough look at this freaking log toss man which <laughs> throw it right up into the freaking space almost that's awesome I guess that's an easy way to get logs and stuff over to the area that you're in so I'm still trudging around really, really sadly, um, because, again, it just seems constantly like you're always tired, which is freaking annoying as hell. Where did that go? I had an extra palm frond in my side bag. Oh, whatever. It says there's still one in my hand. Oh, there's still one in my hand. Could I have infinite palm fronds right now? Hold on. I want to try something. Did we duplicate it? I, I want to find out. Well, I have to finish this real quick because we need another, uh, we need another pole in order to get our wall up. Okay, so now we have that up. Let's grab ourselves another pole real quick. So this is, uh, this is hunting in the game. You're gonna notice a wily crab over here looking at us sideways. <laughs> this is the toughest fight of my life. <laughs> the toughest fight of my life. <laughs> Alright, get over by my building area. There we go. Oh, you can move your bed around! I didn't know that. I didn't know you could move it. Like, oh, you can! You can grab it however you like! Oh, so we can, like, legitimately put our bed inside of our living quarters. Although I don't know if it's too big or, or what. It's kind of... Eh, whatever. Let's make this little wall first. Well, let's try to. All right. We got another wall made. It. This is just... It's like we're always exhausted. Like, over here, my thirst is down to zero. It was at 100 when I, rent, when I went to friggin' sleep. And you can see how quickly our tiredness meter goes up. Like, all I did... I woke up. It was at zero... I hammered, like, this little area a couple times, that 14 already. And, like, it's just, you move so slowly. I took off my backpack. I've still got, like, the triple million thing I'm holding right now. So, the game has a lot of cool systems. It has a long way to go. This is a very raw survival game so far. Good ideas, a lot of cool things, like the wet and the dry and the wind and the, and the sextant and all the random creation and everything like that and the skill sets and the experience and stuff. But this stuff, like what's going on in my freaking right hand, hold on, let me get rid of it for right now. Oh my God, can I even get rid of it? There we go. But the stuff that was going on with my right hand, the weird weight problems and like this constant tiredness thing, I'll have a little trouble with that. And like I said, even when I kept my thirst up, it just didn't matter. It was like my thirst would be at 100, go to sleep, you wake up, your thirst back is zero. Anyway, guys, what do you think about Escape the Pacific? Let me know in the comments section below. There's going to be links in the description to the game as well if you ever want to check it out over on Steam. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.